Are you over 50 and struggling to quit smoking? It's never too late to kick the habit and improve your health. In this video, we'll explore the most effective ways to quit smoking after 50 and give you the tools you need to succeed. So if you're ready to take control of your health and say goodbye to cigarettes for good, keep watching. 1. Set a date to quit. Pick a date one to two weeks away and share that date with close family and friends, suggests Dr. Goldberg. You might lose motivation if you pick a date too far away, so pick a date where you know you won't be busy. Then throw away all of your cigarettes the night before you quit. 2. Identify your triggers. It's important to recognize when you crave a cigarette, says Dr. Goldberg. Is it when you're stressed about something? Are you bored? Triggers are broken up into four categories, emotional, stress, and anxiety. Pattern, after breakfast, while driving, on a walk, social, hanging out with friends, and withdrawal, smelling cigarette smoke, seeing and slash or touching a lighter. He says adding that if something is triggering you, stay strong. 3. Consider nicotine replacement therapy, patches, gum, lozenges. Nicotine replacement therapy, NRP, in the form of gum, patches, sprays and lozenges gives you nicotine without the other harmful chemicals found in tobacco, says Dr. Goldberg. Using these products may help relieve some of your physical withdrawal symptoms, while you focus on the mental and psychological aspects of quitting. 4. Consider behavioral therapy. A cognitive behavioral therapist can help you learn how to cope with your feelings instead of picking up a cigarette, says Dr. Goldberg. Your therapist will help you to work through thoughts like, I'll never quit smoking to develop healthy responses and physical patterns like not picking up a cigarette, he says. 5. Ask your doctor about prescription medications. Two medications are currently FDA-approved to help smokers quit, Chantix, Varenicline, and Zybenbupropion. They work by reducing the symptoms of nicotine withdrawal while decreasing the amount of pleasure you feel when smoking, says Dr. Goldberg. Both medications do have side effects, such as nausea, vomiting and mood, and behavior changes. So it's best to talk to your doctor to determine if either medication is right for you. 6. Get support from your family and online. It's important for family and friends of the person quitting smoking to be supportive, says Dr. Goldberg. Lend an ear if the person quitting smoking needs to talk, regularly check in to see how they are doing, or take them to the movies to distract them. Just be there for them, he says. Online support programs, such as the American Lung Association's Freedom from Smoking, can also be a helpful resource. 7. Manage your stress. Practicing relaxation techniques is an important way to manage your stress levels, helping you to avoid a relapse when you're overwhelmed. This can include listening to short, guided meditations, taking daily walks, exercising and spending time with friends and family, suggests Dr. Goldberg. Fewer bad days ahead. Noon's curriculum is rooted in psychological principles that help users better understand themselves, their brain, and the science of choice. 8. Consider alternative treatments. Hypnotherapy and acupuncture might help some people quit smoking, but it's important to know that one treatment doesn't work for everyone, says Dr. Goldberg. Note that these treatments are not backed by peer-reviewed research. Supplements such as black pepper to reduce cravings or Street John's wart to help with depression may be helpful, he says, but consult with your doctor first before trying any alternative treatments. 9. Consider going cold turkey. Quitting smoking cold turkey isn't right for everyone, says Dr. Goldberg. It means that you won't be relying on nicotine replacement therapy, NRT, products to help you to resist the urge to smoke. So if you decide to go cold turkey, have a plan to manage your triggers such as having healthy snacks on hand, playing with a stress ball and avoiding friends and family who smoke, he says. 10. Don't give up. Most people will relapse at least once before they quit smoking for good, says Dr. Goldberg. Instead of stressing over a relapse, give yourself some grace and set a new quit day. Reflect back on what caused you to relapse. 
once you know the cause, try hard to avoid that trigger, situation or experience in the future, he says. When to see your doctor. Make an appointment with your doctor as soon as you decide you want to quit smoking, says Dr. Goldberg. They can create a personalized treatment plan to help you quit. Once you stopped, consult with your doctor if you experience depression, irritability or nervousness, adds Dr. Edelman. Quitting smoking may be hard, but with support, it can be done. If you're struggling to quit, reach out to your doctor for help. They can help create a smoking cessation plan that works best for your individual circumstances. Now that you know the most effective ways to quit smoking after 50, it's time to take the first step on your journey to a smoke-free life. Don't let age hold you back from improving your health and well-being. Take control of your habit and start your path to a healthier future today.